The herd of cattle were heading back home from grazing when a bolt of lightning struck 11 of them. The devastated owner, Paula Sindimba, was short of words after he discovered the dead cattle. Sindimba now faces the daunting task to restock, saying he bought the animals in the 1990s when they were still affordable. It is difficult to find words to say about this incident. As I am at pain, I have never seen this in my life. When the NBC News team arrived at his homestead, community members were hard at work skinning the cattle. A close relative to Sindimba, Joseph Kamakende, says they will be selling the meat to try and recoup some of the money. They are welcome because the meat is already treated. There's no fear maybe it will still come back. This is normally in our culture. It happens like this, although it is for the first time to see this kind of nature, but it happens before. According to O. Cordon headman Johannes Ngumbe, thunder lightning incidents are common in this area. Ngumbe says seven cattle from different kraals have already been lost to lightning since the beginning of the current rainy season. Meanwhile, Kavango West State veterinarian Lugerus Amushila says meat of animals killed by lightning or any unnatural causes is not fit for human consumption. Amushila noted that his office can assist the farmer in destroying the carcasses, but at the farmer's own cost.